Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm giving you a review of the HTC Vive Cosmos. I'm gonna hop into iRacing and just give some general feedback on how it feels, putting it under two categories, playability and immersion. Just a bit of context about me, I've been playing iRacing for three years. I've done many of the enduro races, the Le Mans, Daytona 24 hour, Bathurst 12 hour, Class A and Road and Oval and I feel like I've got a bit of experience in iRacing. So with this review I'm going to be playing with the headset, just commenting on how immersive it is. If you know I'm looking around the car and I can really feel like I'm there. As well as the playability, how competitive my lap times are, if I can run consistent lap times, being in VR and just Looking at it from two perspectives of, you know, the, the fun consumer side and the competitive sim side. Just before I continue, Vive did send me the headset for a review. Now before I hop into iRacing, I thought I'd actually talk about the headset a little bit. It has a great resolution, 2880 by 1700 pixels, 90 hertz refresh rate and 110 degrees of view. All these features really help with the immersion I must say. So uh, if you want more information about the Vive, down there, link in the description with all the specs, but without further ado, let's hop into the car and see how we go. Alrighty guys, here we are in the F1 car, and already just looking down, looking around, seeing everything right in front of my eyes, looking in my mirror, seeing my car, my suspension, instead of looking at it on a flat screen, I'm actually there. I feel like I'll just give you my initial rear, oh my god. Wow, I'll give you my initial reactions and then I'll just be quiet for a bit and let you guys watch. Um, looking at it off the bat, the road's coming at me very fast. Like, this is a weird sensation. Compared to, say, the on the monitor, like with this, I can see the road coming at me. It's very fast feeling. Um, for immersiveness, it's ticking the boxes right now. It feels amazing! Oh my god! Ooh. Yeah, it's, I can't explain it. I, it. It does really come at you fast. I definitely feel like having the 90 hertz really helps with the immersion. It's really smooth. I'll uh, comment as I need, but I might just try and run some laps for now and then give you some feedback after. I just can't believe how immersed I feel. I really do. I can, I can put my head down for some aerodynamic gains. I really do feel like I'm a part of the car. Oh, this section is going to be fun. And, yeah. Being able to look ahead at the apexes and really see what I'm working with. Oh my god. It does take quite a lot of concentration though. Oh, overshot that a little bit. Just had a bit of an oversteer moment. feel like being in VR as well does help with uh, being able to correct it, correct oversteer, so it gets a tick in my playability and how well, feasible it is. sure if you guys just saw that but pretty much pulled my headphones out because I freaked out at the barrier coming towards me. I never thought I'd jump at eye racing but gosh seeing the seeing the barricade just come at you at 100 k's an hour is scary. Can't wait to see what a full speed crash looks like but so far the immersion is just amazing. Well, I've had a look at the fun side of VR in the F1 car, which was a lot of fun, but now I'm going to look at the more serious sim racing aspect of it, where I'm going to be trying to cut through the field, and I'm just going to comment on how I feel while I'm driving, but lights are about to go out, so I won't be giddy, as giddy, I'll be more analytical with this one, but decent start, and uh... 
I've just doing, I've been doing a bit of practice, and I feel like it's a lot like real life in the sense of once you learn how big your car is, you can be a lot better at driving it. And I really do feel like you have better spatial awareness in VR. You can just see out of your peripheral vision the cars around you, and once you learn how big your car is, I really feel like you could go for gaps that you wouldn't on a flat screen. Put that aside, gonna go for a move into the braking zone, very close to that Porsche, had to lock up a little bit, braking quite early. Squeezing that guy out, my apologies, but really does feel obviously very immersive, but from a competitive aspect, I'm really liking it. I'm still getting used to it, obviously. Like, I still just tap that Porsche, but I really do feel like with the VR that I understand where the limit of the car is better. Where on a flat screen, I'd spin too far and spin out, but with the VR, I feel like I can correct my oversteer and really understand the car. Um, overall, so I'm, I'm obviously not used to it because I haven't been using the VR headset for too long. But I do feel like with a lot of practice, you'd be able to gain a competitive advantage, for sure. You see people in the V8 Supercars Pro Series using VR to try and gain temp, so it clearly works in terms of trying to be more competitive. I really am enjoying the experience from a fun and a competitive side, and I would highly recommend it for both. Well, that wraps up the iRacing VR review. Uh, I must say that I'm stoked of how it went. The fun side of the immersion was amazing. With the, the road coming at me at 300 k's an hour, looking over at different bits of my car while I'm driving, uh, it definitely ticked all the boxes for being fun and immersive. And on the competitive side, I really felt like it gave me an edge with the depth perception, just seeing how close I can get to other cars, and overtaking, making moves, looking out and seeing how far away I am from different cars and feeling more in control of the car, being able to feel my head move when the back end's coming out really helped me appreciate the immersion and concluding, I'd highly recommend the HTC Vive for any form of racing to really just take it to the next level improve your immersion, enjoy your whole experience. It's fantastic. Either casual or professional sim racer, you'll love it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. More info down below on where you can buy the Vive, where you can just find more information, as well as a link to iRacing if you want to get started. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.